Hey patrons, this is a Patreon exclusive. Um, this is really an exclusive in that it's going to be released to Patreon way before anybody sees it on YouTube. So you guys will be ahead of the game about two weeks ahead because this is not scheduled to air on YouTube um, until the first Friday in October. So, enjoy this exclusive. I hope it really helps in some way, shape, or form. Um, let me see if I can adjust the lighting. Okay, I think, nope, that still creates a heavy shadow. So, we're just going to leave the light on. Anyway, um, I hope this helps in some way, shape, or form. Uh, this reading here is all about what lessons are your current experiences meant to teach you and how you can apply this knowledge. Now, I chose specific cards intentionally for this read. All of the cards, except for the tarot and the doors, are based in Asian culture. So, we are strictly using Tao cards, tea leaf cards, and then I have the tarot, and I have the Divine Doors, which is how you're going to select your pal today. Or you can use the crystals as I'll show you each of those. Okay. For those that don't know, in Chinese philosophy, Tao is the absolute principle underlying the universe. It's like, the, like yin and yang is within this principle of balance and harmony. Tao is like the natural way to a life of virtue, a life of peace. It's pretty much the balance of the of the universe. What keeps the universe flowing, um, keeps you in harmony with this flow as well. It's the complete, um, it's yin and yang. So, um, well, I think it embodies the energy of yin and yang. So this reading is for those who are in confusion, in a fog, need some clarity, seeking a way forward, um, maybe you just are trying to understand some of the experiences you've been having lately and it might not even have to be a negative experience. Whenever people think of lessons, they always tend to think something bad. Not all lessons are bad. Sometimes you're learning something positive. Sometimes you're leveling up. So it could just be you wanting some clarity as to the current experiences in your life what are they teaching you? How can you apply this knowledge? So we have power one, power two, power three. Um, I'm going to do some channeling. I'm especially going to channel with the tarot and the tea leaf cards. But I do want to leave the wisdom of the Tao in the hands of that wisdom. So I will um, refer to the books where I feel called to or I will just uh, read the cards and try to channel from the cards. But I really think that these books uh, have some great insight. So I will definitely pull from them and maybe take what resonates, what jumps out at me as need to know information. Okay. With that said, let's get into it with Amina. So we got power number one here represented by this doorway. Hopefully you're getting a good view of the door. If you feel drawn to this door, then choose pile one. Or you may be drawn to the crystal. If you are drawn to this crystal, I'm sorry, I don't think you're getting a good view of the, yeah, the colors. If you are drawn to this crystal, then choose pal one. The second door, I want to make 
make it so that you can definitely see. Okay, so this is the second door. So if you feel drawn to this doorway or to this crystal, then choose pile two. And last but not least, the third doorway. And if you feel drawn to this doorway or this crystal, then choose pile three. With that said, I'm going to start with pile number one. And just give me one second. Hey, pile one. All right, so if you chose this lapis lazuli heart or this doorway, of course, you know I'm going to read the doorway last. So I'm going to put that right here. That means that your reading is in card, I'm sorry, in pile one. So I want to go to the tea leaf cards a little later so i'm going to put those to the side i'm going to start first with the towel so the first cards are going to let you know what lesson what's the overall lesson right now that you are meant to be learning so i have two cards for that card number one surrender this is a moment of awakening and relief it is done. Step back to see the big picture. Instead of fighting a battle you cannot win, stop struggling. Concede and preserve your energy for the next strategic plan of attack. Winning is ahead. And your second card is strength. You are far more powerful than you realize. Believe in yourself. What seems impossible can be overcome with determination and the right skills. Do not give up. You are almost there. Whatever happens, you will gain wisdom from this experience. So your overall lesson is learning how to surrender and let go. To know when you need to put things in the hands of the most high and rely on the universe. And you're also meant to understand your power, to believe in yourself to persevere, to believe in yourself to overcome anything as long as you stay determined, that you just have to keep your faith in the flow, in the process. You're strong enough to see anything through. And that's your lesson right now, that you can let go of control because you have the strength to see any obstacle moved out of your way and the universe is going to assist you with that so right now it's time for you to pull back your energy plan how you're going to move forward by using the experiences you've had thus far it says here you will gain wisdom from the experience so what you're going through right now your lesson is to see what you your lesson is to learn the lesson from it and it's to start to Learn when it's time for you to pull back your energy and rely on the universe. Winning is ahead, so there's no need to worry. There's no need to use force. With the lapis lazuli heart being the crystal representing this pile, there's also a need for you to learn that your intuition is the key. That, okay, my apologies, pile one. I'm not really sure what happened there, why the camera just switched off, but... I was explaining where your intuition plays a major part in your lesson. All right. You're learning how to take the downloads and the information that you receive from your guides, from the divine, and apply it as wisdom. Your wisdom comes from the use of your inner knowing and the. Welcome back. I guess you didn't expect to be seeing me, and I didn't expect to be. Uh showing myself i don't even have my covers on my bed i've been changing i was changing my bed but um my bed sheets actually because i let a child sleep in my bed last night and she decided 
she was going to leak and have an accident. That's neither here nor there. Um, the reason why you see me is because my phone decided in the midst of my recording that it did not have enough space to save the entire video. So I'm just going to finish the reading this way. Please ignore the blankets I took off my bed and thrown in the corner. I'm like a hot mess. I did not expect to have to show myself. I really thought it was just going to be you guys in my hands, but here we are. So I'm using Zoom. Hopefully Zoom behaves better than going live on YouTube or going live on Facebook. And you guys can hear me good and I'm not freezing up um, or anything like that. So I was going over pile number one. I was just about done with the first two cards of surrender and strength. Um, I think the message is pretty clear with the lesson. The overall lesson you are learning currently is to surrender and let go and trust in the most high and also to trust in your own inner power and strength. Okay. And also to listen to your intuition by choosing this like piece of lazuli as well, which helps with intuition. It can also help with communication, knowing when to speak and when not to. All right. Knowing when a battle should be avoided or when you should go in head first. So I really feel that that was clear from the first video. And um, well, for you guys, it's going to feel like one video. But for me, it's been about two or three I've had to slice together. And so um, and it's getting pretty late. This was almost about to become Amina after midnight for Patreon because it's after midnight. But um, really, these are quickie reads. So let's just keep it moving. Let's not drag it on. I don't want to dwell on the fact that um, my phone pissed me off and I need another SD card. And I'm just going to sage myself real quick because I really didn't expect to be seen. Please excuse my dry ass appearance and the drabby background. Um, let me just sage really quickly. All right. And again, let's get into it. Okay. So the second two cards are also from the Wisdom of Tao, but they are very different deck. And um, this is to show you what you're currently learning. So this is what you're actually processing right now, what you're starting to understand, what you're starting to realize. So we have ponder what you want. Don't view rejection or uncertainty as all negative. Timing may be out of alignment with your intention. Use this time to gain a better understanding of the situation and contemplate what you truly want. This may be a chance for an optimal turn of events. So one of the things you're currently learning is divine timing. You're starting to realize that sometimes when something's not going the way you want, it's not because the universe is working against you, but actually because the time's just not right. It just wasn't time yet. And now you are starting to take that time to strategize, to plan, just like the surrender card says. So you are starting to harness your overall lesson. And the second card says fire, radiance. The radiant light from the south spreads in all directions. It awakens your passion and intuition. The organization and preparation are over. Now is the ideal time to execute your plans. Go forward at full speed. Don't lose the opportunity. So it's almost like you were getting told to surrender and let go just so that you could be pushed forward. All right. Divine time doesn't mean it never happens. What you're learning now is divine timing just means when the time is right. So you're learning that right now, divine time is on your side. The time is right. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to strat you've strategized, you surrender. That's your overall thing. But now it's also time to see the strength and the power within yourself to make things that you want come into fruition. So ponder what you want and then make it happen. This new moon on the 25th, I feel is going to be very important for you in bringing your intentions into manifestation. 
And we have two more tile cards. And this is from a totally different deck that I'm actually probably going to look in the book unless it's clear. All right. And these two cards say the first one says, and this is um, what you still need to understand. What is keeping you from fully getting your lesson, really understanding and being able to um, move on to the next level of things. Prosperity, wealth, good fortune, success, express gratitude by supporting others, material possessions. So you are still in a lack mindset. You still are unable to truly see your wealth, your prosperity, your abundance coming in. And until you are able to recognize that you are an abundant being, to just get the prosperity card, it means that this is your birthright. This is what you are supposed to be experiencing at this time. And if you're not, it's because you're still trying to understand how to flip your mindset from one of lack, which may be, may be how you grew up, maybe what you're experiencing right now, and, and shifting it into a mindset of pondering what you want and making it manifest. Because unless you can see it here and feel it here, it's not going to manifest. Okay. And you have approach. So you're also still needing to understand um. Prosperous conditions, increased influence, hopefulness, lightening up, an arrival, advancing, a warm reception. You're still needing to understand that it still has to do with prosperity, that you need to change your thinking, you need to lighten up, that it's time for you to, what did it say, to, to shine, to have radiance, okay, to to not miss this opportunity. There's some kind of opportunity that is headed your way if it's not already in your face. And it's like your chance, your arrival, like the red carpet is being rolled out to you. Divine is saying, okay, you've been impatient with me. Well, here we are. This is your time now. Make your move, make it happen. And you're still trying to understand this. Like I can be prosperous. Am I advancing? Am I leveling up? Am I moving on to something great? Um, is it okay to be hopeful? And your influence is increasing. You're getting opportunity that's going to increase your influence in the world. And you need to step through those doors. You need to step through those doors. It feels like you're being welcomed into another level um, where you will be prosperous, where you will be received warmly and um you just have to get out of this lack of mindset is what i'm hearing and approach the door approach this new life and arrive okay the two role is here to explain the current situation you seek help with and why you're facing it right now so currently you may seek help with we have the queen of pentacles money so you may seek help with trying to figure out how to get this material wealth, how to be comfortable with prosperity coming your way, how to release fears, okay, about becoming this abundant energy. And this is if you're a man or a woman, does not matter. You still can embody the feminine energy of the queen of pentacles, all right? Five of Wands. You're facing this situation because you worry a lot about what other people are doing and competition and who's doing what, who's getting ahead, who's doing better, who's doing this, who's doing that. Don't worry about naysayers as well. People that are going to have shit to say about whatever it is you're doing, who are going to judge you. Don't worry about these other people. This is why you're facing this current situation where you're in this lack mindset where you're not going through the door. You're not understanding in your full power and, and just being radiant and just going after the things you pondered that you wanted. You're letting other people add their stupid energy to the mix and it's time for you to shut that out, okay? Two of swords, yeah. You have to make a choice. You have to get out of your head and follow your heart. You've been 
It's sitting here thinking, 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 what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? How can I make money? How can I do this? Uh, how do I attract my soul tribe? How do I? And spirit is saying now with this card coming through that you've pondered long enough. Now it's time to strategize and make moves. All right. As you make moves, you will be calling in those that are on the same path as you. So the choice that you do need to make, all right, in your current situation is, are you going to stay in this crazy energy where you feel like you're competing with someone or a bunch of people, or there's people against you or judging you, or are you going to stand, oops, are you going to stand in your light and be the queen of pentacles that you're meant to be. The choice is yours. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. I think you'll get with this, but this is where it's at. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. I literally listened to that song just yesterday. So I guess it was for a reason. All right, I'm gonna pull the go to the tea leaf cards that came with this pile now. Therefore, the first one says hat, you will be playing a different role. So there is an opportunity coming in that's going to flip things, like I was saying, where you may find yourself being faced with something totally different. Maybe you're not used to having a lot of money. Maybe you're not used to feeling prosperous. Maybe you're not used to being around people who are wealthy. But I see you playing a different role from the one you've been playing. Maybe you've been the person struggling for a long time and you're going to find yourself in a totally different position now where you are not the person struggling. And maybe you'll have the opportunity to help others, I'm hearing. Um, yeah, bold. Plenty of material things. So you have some kind of wealth coming in right now, and that is going to be the different role that you're going to be experiencing. There's a lot of prosperity headed your way. If you only will approach the door, if you will only let go and surrender, because this is the path you're meant to take. The divine is literally rolling out the red carpet for you, okay? Pretty much I'm, I'm hearing fuck them people. And I'm not saying God is saying that. Okay. That could be your ancestors. But somebody's saying fuck everybody else. Do your thing. Go on the path that God has chosen for you. And the path that you feel in your heart. Hey, Stack, Karma, you will reap what you have sown. So everything you've been working for, everything that you've been dreaming about, it's coming in. It's coming in. That's how the universe works. What you, what you sow is what you're going to reap in. So there's no way that you've been putting in work and you're not going to see the fruits of your labor. Now is the time. The autumn, I feel like, is a time of abundance. Okay? Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So look, this is why you just need to surrender. Because any negative energy, any negative forces trying to come for you... It's like they can't get to you anyway. You're being protected. You have protection from this energy. So have faith. Move away from it. Make the right choice and go towards being materialistically wealthy and sound. It's nothing wrong with being prosperous. There is nothing wrong with, look at that, light. Ooh. Okay, spirit. There's nothing wrong with being prosperous. There's nothing wrong with going into a new phase of life. And that's something that a lot of us who have grown up in urban communities need to get into our heads. Leveling up, having to leave the community and moving on to someplace better or better opportunity does not mean you can't turn back around and give back. So don't let people make you feel like, oh, you changed or you trying to change or you thinking you better or whatever. Do what you got to do, because that's the only way you're going to be able to do your work on this planet. If you're not prosperous, you're going to be the one seeking help rather than being able to offer help. Remember that. OK, your advice from Rumi. This is your cards artwork. Beautiful. And it says the human gift. Such attraction is offered by the beloved with sweetness and generosity. Yes. Jealousy comes from you. Wow. 
Do you berate yourself, blazing angel, because you have moments where you cannot trust in love more than you believe in your fear? Rise now from your doubts and admonishments and let your human self be loved. Even with all the doubt, you are a cherished one of the great beloved and always shall be. Be kind to your heart. So what's coming your way, don't doubt it. Don't be suspicious of it. The divine is offering you a gift. Don't be afraid. Trust in love more than you trust in your fears and your worries, okay? Because you're getting an abundance of love from the most high at this time, and you're being beckoned to take it in. And your door says, silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out. Let go of doubt. And that, those two cards are your advice in how to learn from your current experiences and how to apply this knowledge in your life. Okay, we're going to move on to power two. So if you were drawn to the number two, this doorway, which is going to be read last, or this crystal, red jasper. Then this is your read. I'm going to move the tea leaf cards to the side to be read later. And we're going to start with your overall lesson. Space clearance. The appearance of this card is a serious sign that space clearance and negative energy removal are needed immediately environmental or personal space or both could be affected attend to needed cleansing to bringing positive fresh energy so that's pretty blunt your lesson right now is to know when to cleanse right now there's need there's a need to sage there's a need to spiritually cleanse there's a need to clean out closets clean out your home uh wash your body in a sort of a holy or sacred ritual uh clean out your friendships clean out your social media accounts and everyone who can see you and be in your business, just a big shift in energy. That's what you're learning right now is how to space clear. These experiences you're going through right now, maybe you've been feeling overwhelmed or very heavy. It's because you're not releasing, you're not clearing, you're not throwing away things, you're not throwing away relationships, you're not throwing away old paths and journeys, maybe even jobs and careers that are no longer serving you. You also have protection. So the first card vibrated to the element of fire. This one is earth. Uncertainty lurks around you, but you are shielded by the powerful energy of heaven's light. The happy birds sing you a message of hope. Feel safe and have no worries. Mount Tai, the most sacred ancient mountain, is here to support and protect you. So you're also learning how to protect yourself as well as to how to recognize that you are protected. So these two cards go hand in hand because once you space clear, it's also a form of protecting your energy, clearing things out so that nice, pleasant light energy can come in is a protection mechanism, okay? That's your overall lesson is protecting your energy, being open and knowing that you are highly protected, highly protected. This is a very protected path, okay? And that you have ancient ancestors and um, nature itself is here to protect you. So you're somebody that probably won't experience too much of nature's wrath. You'll be the person that if there's a storm or hurricane in your area, you'll it'll miss you. Or you'll be like, oh, I slept through it. Um, Or it didn't come by my way. It skipped over my neighborhood. You're one of those with the earth card coming through and Mount Tai. Space clearing is very important too. So you're starting to learn. Your major lesson right now is learning how to clear your environment, your personal space, everything. Okay. So let's see what you are currently learning right now. What are you actually starting to process? Fresh start which comes along with space clearing. 
Don't dwell on the past. Dare to make that bold change. There will be sacrifices and roadblocks, but you are protected. What did I say? This power, you're like highly protected. You shouldn't be worried about anything. It is an imminent move. What is stale and depressed will be revitalized with this new energy. You are shown the way. And this to me goes very well with the crystal that you chose, which is one of passion and energy revitalizing. So maybe get some red jasper. It'll also help you charge up your energy and feel very motivated. But yeah, you're being reminded that you're protected again. And you are learning that right now. That's something you're currently starting to realize is that you are highly protected and that you are being beckoned towards a new beginning, a fresh start. And if you let go of the past and don't dwell on the past, this fresh start is going to give you a new burst of life. Okay. It really is. I feel you like feeling like, whoo, like that type of vibe. All right. Be patient is something you're also currently learning. You're not patient enough. Patience is not about doing nothing. Patience is knowing profoundly that nothing can be done to change the situation in the present moment. Wait, and the inevitable will materialize. And I think you currently realize that. I feel like you got an opportunity or something came into fruition just off of you chilling, waiting, and knowing not just waiting and not thinking or knowing or just like, I'm just going to sit here because ain't nothing moving for me. But a weight that in your heart, you knew something good is coming. Something is working. The universe is working its magic in my life. And because of that, something is materializing or has already come into your life that you're like, wow, I did not expect this, but I did expect it. That type of vibe. I didn't expect this exactly, but I did expect something, something. And you're starting to really learn that process, that surrender and patience doesn't mean I'm just sitting here and I'm not doing anything. It still is a vibration that you have to maintain while you're being patient, knowing that this fresh start, this new opportunity is coming. All right. What else we got for you? Okay. Your, um, what you still need to understand, what you are currently still trying to process. So we have the gentle, penetrating, soft approach, faith, moderation, a subtle but deep influence understanding and nonviolence. So I feel like you're still trying to understand how to be gentle with your movement without being aggressive. You know, um, you're starting to learn that you can influence and inspire people more by gently or softly or very subtly doing little things here and there rather than forcing and pushing. And um, this is something that might not come naturally to you. Maybe you're naturally aggressive um, and maybe a soft approach. Maybe your upbringing has taught you that being soft is being soft and it's something we can whack. And that's especially those of us that grew up in the inner city. We're going to have that mindset where we're taught hustle, bustle, be aggressive, go after what you want. And you are currently learning that a gentle approach will get you a lot further, at least on the path of the town, the path that you are on. You're also currently processing... Okay, before completion, uncertainty, doubt and hesitation, loss of faith, unstable conditions, be extra cautious and discord. You're starting to learn here with before completion, not to put things out there before they are ready. You're starting, you're still really processing that because sometimes I'm realizing when you get the gentle card and, and you're used to like, just being out there with everything and, and putting things out there and having faith in whatever it is you want to do, then you have these moments where you're hesitant, you're doubting yourself, you lose a little bit of faith. And that's because you're uncertain because whatever you're about to embark on or put out there, you have not fully completed. You have not completed the lesson of space clearing 
and realizing you're protected. Otherwise, you would not have uncertainty. You would not hesitate. You would not need to be extra cautious because you would know you're very protected. Pile number two, you really are. So you're still learning to complete the process, not to rush, not to be pushy. Make sure everything is the way you want it to be. Make sure every opportunity is already in your pocket. Make sure every idea is already set in stone and and prepared to be presented before you jump on the ice. Okay, make sure it's it's truly solid. That's something that you're learning right now, along with being subtle, not so forceful. Getting more into your 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 yin energy, your feminine. All right, the current situation you seek help with and why you're facing this. Five of pentacles. So the current situation you seek help with is a feeling of being left out in the cold. Perhaps you are worried that um, whatever move you make, it's going to leave you with nothing. Or you take this path and other people are going to turn their backs on you that you felt you needed for stability. Um, You feel like whenever you're about to embark on something great, There's a cloud over your head and it's just waiting to rain on your happiness. And that is going in with the uncertainty, the doubt, the hesitation. So you're seeking help right now with getting out of this mindset that shit just don't work out for you, that you're going to be left alone, that no one's going to support you, and that you may need to be in a codependent partnership in order to stay afloat. You are currently. Um, seeking a way to own your power. And that's because you got this cloud over you because you need to do some space clearing. Okay. You need to get rid of some people and some energy or whatever in your life. Um, Four of wands. You have stability here. Looks like even a new house, a new place to live. Look at those clouds. Those are pink. It's just ironic to me that both of these tarot cards have clouds in them. One dark, one light. So you're currently facing this situation because they want you to realize that you are strong on your own, that you are a solid foundation, that where you are is home, that you make your nest. You make your foundation strong. Nobody else. You can never be left out in the cold. Ever. Ever. Because you are home. You will leave others who are no longer serving you. Okay? You are the foundation. And that is why you're facing this lesson right now of space clearing and realizing you're protected. Okay? Once you realize these things, you won't be afraid to walk, to, to, to let go, to clear things out of your life. Two of pentacles, two of disc. Okay. You are able to balance things. This person is not juggling and losing balance. They have both things in balance and their priorities in order. So if you're worried about family and work, you're able to balance both. If you're worried about work and leisure, You're able to balance both, all right? You're able to find a balance between, and you can handle everything on your own. Look, this is one person here, balancing, happily doing it, all right? Solid foundation under their feet. Get out of this energy of needing others. Those that are necessary on your path, on your journey, will be drawn to you, will come in. But right now, it's time for you to to build your foundation and stand on your own two feet. You can do it. They're showing you. They literally showed you a house. Okay. I'm going to look at your tea leaf cards now. So you actually have a card that is a month of the year. We have June here. So that could represent the summer season as well as the month of June, maybe someone born in June. Um, June is also 
uh oh shoot gemini slash what's the other sign gemini slash leo no cancer sorry gemini slash cancer season um but i'm feeling like by june or either somebody born in June is going to be important. But I feel like the month of June, the next summer, you will see yourself in a totally different energy. I think by next June, you'll be looking back at this summer like, wow, I've come so far. All right. If you learn that initial lesson. You're a pig. Beware of greed. All right. So I'm getting a warning here where Beware of people that are greedy around you, that cling to you because they see your pentacles. They see your ability to bring in material wealth, okay? I don't really see it as you being greedy. I'm getting a vibe, my pal twos, that there's people around you that you have to be weary of, all right? So that's why the space clearing is your number one, one of your, number, your overall lessons. You have broom, new home, new attitude. You got a double confirmation of cleaning things up as well as a new home. What more can I more can I tell you on this? And then you have basket, recognition, reward for merit. This is how you get your new home. This is how you get your new home. You're going to get some kind of reward. Something's going to be gifted to you. Just off the strength of who you are and what you do and what you bring to the table in this world, you're going to be recognized for something that you do. And it's going to bring you a reward, maybe a grant, maybe a donation, maybe an investment by someone. Um, but I do see it resulting in great abundance, which is why you're getting warned. Beware of greed because there's pigs around you who, when they see this recognition coming in, this new home, your new attitude, they're going to try to get a piece of the pie. And they may be in the Gemini Cancer family. I don't know why, though. I thought it was uh, Gemini Leo. So maybe Leo's too. Be wary. Um, but I'm also seeing by the summertime, you're going to be really Look how she has her hands open and these flowers are blossoming. It's like you're going to start to really see a much happier outcome. You're going to start to see things blooming. Right now, you're going to start to see growth. But by the summer, you're going to see them blossom. Let me get you some your advice from Rumi. Do I have this the right way? Okay, here's your card. And it says, let love transform. The sea becomes filled with pearls. The dry land receives the water of life. Love's genius and generosity are not bound by the mind. All manner of miraculous grace works through love in endless creative variety. Your heart's yearning shall manifest itself. Do not attempt to predict how that can be. Why would we seek to limit love's creative genius? Instead, trust that it will be magnificent and kind. Wow. So what you feel, what you want is going to happen. Don't try to predict how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. All right. Don't put limits on how it comes in. Just trust that it's going to come in and it's going to be amazing because it really is. You have some amazing cards, my pal twos. You are very protected, highly favored. Let's check out your door. It says sunset, and this makes so much sense. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sunlight burns. As the sunlight burns. Wow. Time here turns, so release and unfurl, old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. So as the sun is setting on certain things that you need to clear out of your life, cords will be cut, the pain will also fade, and I feel like by June of next year, you'll be singing a sweet tune. Go through that door. 
That's what I got for you, Pal Twos. That was a great read. All right. Last but not least, we're going to go to Pal Three. Pal Three was represented by this door, which I'll do last. And this crystal, which is a pink quartz or rose quartz. I'm going to put the tea leaf cards to the side. And let's start with your overall lesson you are learning at this time. Growth. There is auspicious energy around you. You are experiencing vigorous growth. This is a good time to learn, to develop new ideas, new ways of doing things, break away from old unhealthy habits and step out of your comfort zone. Your reward is ahead. Wow, my soul tribe, everybody's rewards are ahead. So it is divine time right now for things to start to come in. Um, yeah, so the lesson you are currently, your overall lesson at this time is to realize that you have grown that this is a good time to continue to grow your creativity, um, your, your ways of doing things and, and just re keeping on letting go of bad habit after bad habit after bad habit and replacing it with healthy, healthy rituals, healthy habits, okay? It's also a good time. You're also learning overall to step out of your comfort zone. OK, maybe you're used to doing something or eating something or speaking or being a certain way. And your overall lesson is to step out of that and be ready to live a new and different life that is a part of your overall growth. Your also overall lesson has to do with the moon. Wow. You are wandering between a jubilant world of fantasy and reality. All is not as it seems. Enjoy the sensuality and sensitivity that the current energy brings. Yet the heightened emotions may not be stable. So avoid making big decisions at this time. So you are also a major lesson you're learning is not only that your emotions are highly affected by the lunar cycle. So maybe you're someone that is now starting to realize, but it's your overall lesson. It doesn't necessarily mean you're already realizing it. It could mean this is just something that, there, that spirit is saying you need to start to really tap into that, um, you know, everything is not as it seems. Maybe right now you're in a situation that doesn't feel so comfortable to you. Maybe it feels like things are bleak, but, they're saying there's stuff that is not seen that's happening behind the scenes that the universe is putting into effect for you, okay? Um, your also overall lesson is to learn how to control your emotions so that you don't make hasty decisions. So I feel like my pal three is just somebody who has made decisions in the past that have landed you in some shit, some stuff that you are still dealing with, and... Um, you're learning, your overall lesson right now is learning how to control those emotions, control your ego, control your anger, so that you don't make hasty decisions based off of um, what, how something seems or what you feel in that moment, okay? Now, what you're currently starting to process, what you're starting to get, uh-huh, okay? <laughs> I meant to say the aha from I'm um, coming to America, but I said it wrong. So don't laugh at me. Okay. What you still, I'm sorry, what you're currently learning. Not meant to be. You're, you're learning not to take things too seriously. If despite your best attempts, the outcome is not what you wish, it was never yours to begin with. The world is full of new opportunities. Self-pity and diminished self-esteem will only obscure your view of what is to come. So you're starting to realize that when something is not meant to be, it just is not meant to be. And you are willing to let it go and walk on and be open to a new experience because you are realizing at this time that the world is full of new opportunities. This is a part of your growth. To, to understand that what is yours will be yours and what isn't meant to be yours just won't be yours no matter what you do. And you're fine with that. You're also learning you can make a difference. 
So do not just go with the flow. Insert yourself into the situation to make a positive impact. You have the knowledge and ability to turn things around. Believe and inspire others to believe. Your decisive influence will change the outcome. You're starting to realize you are highly influential in people's lives and the things that they do. You're high, you very much able to flip and in that ability to get others to believe spread them believe in themselves and the most high in whatever it is that you're trying to say or or teach them to understand also you can make a difference in things that you want to manifest is what you're also learning at this time starting to realize that your vibration can make a great difference in your experiences daily just how you vibe okay so it's just only one. Oh, okay so the current i'm sorry what you still need to understand my pal threes duration constancy continuity continuity endurance, perseverance, maturity, strengthening, stability, and deep commitment. So you are still learning at this time, what you still need to understand is commitment. Going the long distance, knowing that, and, and I think this is where your crystal comes in because this crystal is all about love and unconditional love and having your heart open to love and a gentle, soft, non-judgmental love and with duration, you're still learning this love. I think you struggle to believe it exists. Maybe you've had a lot of experiences where with relationships with people where they weren't able to commit. They did not offer unconditional love. And in turn, you started to really believe that maybe you weren't worthy. Maybe it was a myth. Maybe it wasn't something that's possible. And now you are in a situation where duration is necessary. Um, you have to be able to go the long haul. You have to be able to be consistent. And um, this is something you're currently learning, how to endure, how to um, stay strong. And it's a form of maturity as well to stay in a deep commitment to something. And that's not just in a relationship. That could be in a career that you love. Maybe you were in a career and it didn't, it didn't pan out the way you wanted to. And you went to, you, you understand what's not meant to be just isn't meant to be. And that maybe there's something else. It's something, and not even maybe, there's definitely something else better for you. And that's why. However, you also have to realize that sometimes you're giving up before anything can manifest. So you're learning how to stay stable and committed. That's something you're still processing right now and giving things time to pan out okay you're also getting a learning decrease decline cutting back frug up frugality less is more i literally said that today when i was talking about um teaching a workshop and how sometimes there's an overkill when people are putting too much in and um less is more you're learning letting go contracting, resourcefulness, and sacrifice. So you are still learning how to pull your energy back. You're currently still learning how to let go of goals and things that you want and things that you're trying to manifest and how to not do so much to just do enough and then sit back, relax, reboot, get your energy back. You know what I'm saying? You're still learning how to do that. So these are things not for you to go, oh, I don't know that, but for you to, um, your overall lesson is growth. One of the overall lessons. So you're supposed to grow and start to understand these things and these processes. 
and you're still learning letting go. You do struggle, my pal threes, possibly with letting go of things that are no longer serving you, that are no longer resourceful in your life. And that is something you're being assisted with at this time. Um, please apologize. I'm sorry about the child is making a noise in the background. Would you believe I'm recording this 10 to 1 a.m. right now and there's still kids up? All right. Current situation you seek help with and why you're facing this. So the current situation, we got the page of wands. You have opportunity coming in, something you're passionate about, but look how they're looking at that wand. It's like, this is making me excited. And it's, it's like, it's right there, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the growth. I don't see anything else, but the fact that this is getting me excited. Something is being put in my path that is getting me excited. I'm getting messages. I'm getting encouragement. I want to go for it, but I don't know. It's the vibe I'm getting from this page of wands. And I don't usually get that from the page of wands. So this is your current situation you want help with. You're trying to figure out, do I go and follow my passion? Do I take that wand that's being offered to me at this time? And you're facing this right now because you are the empress. You are creative. You are fertile with creative ideas. You are a nurturer. The ideas and creativity that you are going to share are going, is going to inspire other people and motivate other people. Just by being who you are, you are inspiration without even realizing it. So you are facing this situation right now because you're being pushed to be an empress and to make a choice, to go after what drives your passion okay you're almost it almost looks like you're looking at the wand and then finally you put on the crown and you grab it and look what it becomes because you're so creative that it becomes this rainbow filled staff eight of wands okay so with the eight of wands <clears throat> I'm just trying to pick up the vibe I'm getting. This Eight of Wands is different from some I've seen in the other decks. This Eight of Wands, this person looks like the wands are holding them down. It almost gives me Eight of Swords feelings. And... um. But in the midst of it all, this person looks happy. So I would like to, I want to really take a look at this specific Dex, Eight of Wands, because I don't know if she, when she created this deck, if she had the same intention as the traditional Eight of Wands. And I just want to get you some clarity, as well as myself, because I was drawn to this pile. <laughs> I hate when I choose a pile that I'm like, what the blood clot? So, and I usually won't share with you guys if I do, because I don't want anybody to be influenced by what I'm selecting or anything. And I myself, I wait to the last minute because I don't want to influence the reading myself with my energy. But, um, you know, wands usually have to do with passion and, and um, messages coming in very quickly. So maybe this is why this person is looking happy with all these wands around them, because maybe they're getting a lot of opportunities. Yeah, it says swift movement towards a goal or situation. So I'm looking at the wands as if she's laying on the ground, but I think it's more of this, where they're moving quickly towards something with all this passion, all this fire. So. I don't really feel like your current situation is a problem. I feel like the problem is the issue is that you're not owning your empress energy and that there's some, some opportunity coming your way, some kind of message and a lot of opportunities coming in and the movement is about to happen for you. So put on your crown empress, okay? When the page comes, there's movement, there's there's communication coming in, things that are going to get you excited. You're probably already getting excited, 
but something has you like, I don't know, I don't know. Put that crown on because you're about to be bombarded with opportunities, okay? And this is why you're in this current situation because spirit wants you to be in your empress energy. Own your divine feminine energy, okay? So your tea leaf cards. So you have an astral house in this one. It says career. So I feel like this has something big time to do with your career, okay? Some kind of quick movement coming in. This opportunity it almost makes me feel like, oh gosh. But with the pen on the table, I feel like writer, teacher, something to that extent. Maybe you do administrative work. Maybe you're an artist who draws. Um, but something with career, a lot of action and offers and opportunities coming in and quick movement, it's going to have you mad excited. Um, the eye, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So you also are very, very psychic, my pal threes. You have a wide open third eye. Your intuition is telling you a lot of this stuff that you already hear, the stuff you're hearing now, you probably are like, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. And need to trust your intuition. What you feel, what you think is correct. When it comes to people, when it comes to careers, when it comes to situations, you're correct. Okay. Don't doubt. Uh, you got a month of the year card too. April. So the springtime for you, either you're an Aries or a Taurus, or um, you are going to find that things for you in your career You'll be in a stable place by April. Maybe now with these eight of wands, that's movement coming in now. When you get a lot of wands, that's things that are about to start moving, moving, moving quickly. And perhaps by April, you will be feeling stable. Either that or you're an Aries or a Taurus. <laughs> and that's just confirmation for you, which I am. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. All right, this ain't about me. All right, and your last card is wishbone. A wish is granted. So something that you're wishing for, something that you want is coming in, okay? So if you got several wishes, make them because you're about to get them. Wow. All right, great read. Your advice, your roomy card, says dance of the divine feminine and you get the empress so synchronized have bitter the taste of water oh sorry how bitter the taste of water would be if the river stopped its flow the universe esteems you capable of more than being sure-footed and sensible you can whirl and stumble inspired by the music of the spheres there is big magic for you to weave this lifetime Prosaic priorities inherited from the world are stuff and nonsense. Give up the mainstays that drain your heart. Ask your soul what matters most and attend to that. Follow your heart. Follow your passion. And your door. Morning memory. In healing gift. It's healing gift runs a destined course the morning dawn our inspired source meditate under the sun is your advice and um the rumi card is also your advice but the morning is a healing gift to you when you wake up in the morning it's a good time for you to meditate and it's also inspirational to you it's a good time for you to do uh your creative work you feel recharged. It's uh, uh, It inspires you because it gives you the energy of a new beginning, a new day, a new opportunity to make things happen. Um, I also feel like when you start to receive all of these incoming messages, all of this energy, all of this passion, like opportunities coming in. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's going to feel like a new day. It's going to most likely be in the morning. So check your emails in the morning, check your messages. Um, if you um, want to make things happen um, or you're thinking about doing something new, do it in the morning, in the daytime. 
Um, but the nighttime is good for you to process everything, to write in your journal, um, and and take time to recognize and see where you've grown. And on that note, peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of this tribe. I hope you really enjoyed this read. Patreon saw it first. Remember that YouTube. Later, y'all. Love y'all.